Hey folks, Steve Lewis here. Welcome to Relevance for today. Thanks for tuning in as we continue on with the series on the love movement. I'm going to keep on talking more and more about how we as the body of Christ need to love one another to form unity. In fact, today I'm going to be talking about unity from the book of Acts. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. So here we are. Thanks for joining me again for another part of this message. Uh, we are up to, I believe, number seven by now. And uh, it's just great to have you joining me, watching, listening, however you are uh, tuning in. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you guys. God bless you. Okay, today we're going to dig right in. I'm reading out of the NLT, the New Living Translation. I'm going to go back into the book of Acts. And uh, one of my favorite books in the Bible. I'm going to go in the book of Acts and I'm going to share with you a passage about unity. I've been talking about love and how through love and us showing love as the body of Christ, we can truly become the church that God called us to be, which will form unity between the groups, between the denominations. We'll all come together as one. And let me give you some credit. I don't want to be too hard on folks, but I do give credit. There's many churches out there, many denominations that get together in towns. For example, Easton in uh, northern Maine. They all get together, different congregations get together, different denominations come across the board. They all get together. They have functions. They do things together. That is awesome. That's what becoming more united is all about. So with that being said, I'm not going to get on a rabbit trail on on that, but I am going to share on unity today. So we're going to dig right in to uh, another one of my favorite passages of scripture. We are in the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 42 through 47. Okay, there it is right there. Ding. Okay, Acts chapter 2. Here we go. Mine is titled, The Believers Form a Community. And this is also, as I'm reading this, think about love as I'm reading this, because they came together as one and as beautiful. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miracle signs and wonders, and all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day, men in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Bam. That is beautiful. I love that. I picture that. I know we're in a different day and age where people have to get out and work for a living. So you can't just sit back and relax at home together and recline on the couch and share God's word and eat together and go from house to house. But at the same time, it shows you a picture of unity. You know, take the time. If we all took the time, what once a week and went and visited and broke bread with someone or, Hey, you know what, guys, I'm getting together. I'm having a barbecue. Let's get together. Bring your Bibles. We'll talk about the Lord afterwards or whatever it may be. Something to unite the body of Christ together. We've got to form relationships. Um, the Holy Spirit showed me something a long time ago. I was sitting in church one day and pastor was preaching and I look around and the Holy Spirit showed me a picture of the fact that pastor may have been preaching about how we need to get together and go and do something for the kingdom. And I, the, pick, the vision I got was, how can we get together and do something when we don't even know anybody? And so the saying for me was, how can we get together as the body of Christ when the church don't know nobody? And I know it's poor English, but you get what I'm saying. You know, when you come into the building, we all sit there, worship, listen to the preaching um, in our church, which is pretty cool. Or, our, you know, you know what I mean? Our church where we all meet, we get together 
And at one portion of the service, we meet and greet one another, which is really awesome. And different churches have done that. I've been to a church in Holton. They do their meeting and greeting before the service even starts and have a fellowship time. People get to know each other. Otherwise, you come to church, you sit near people you don't even know, you don't talk to them, you may say hi and smile, you go through the service, the service is over, and boom, you're gone. So there's no relationship. And that's what we need to work on. Relationship in the body of Christ is going to make us stronger. Relationship in the body of Christ is going to bring more unity, which is in turn going to show the world, hey, these Christians take care of each other. They're getting along with each other. They're not just taking care of themselves. They're taking care of others. They're inviting others in. They're being a blessing. I had someone who knew someone that they were having a problem and some of those Christian folks came over and they knocked on the door and said, how can we help you? That's what I'm talking about. Unity in the body of Christ. So this is a great passage of scripture. I love it. I mean, I just love it because it just talks about unity. It wraps it all up because in the end, as you, I'll read it one more time, in the end, I'll read this in closing. As all this is wrapping up, one of the things that um, the Apostle Luke wrote right here was, and each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. So they were loving on one another forming a relationship, building unity. Others were seeing this. They wanted to be a part of it. You know how that how, that's how it works. You're walking down the street. You see a crowd of people gathered around and there's some excitement. You tend to want to be nosy and find out what's going on. Well, picture these guys, large groups of people eating together, worshiping together, talking about God's word together. There's excitement. There's miracles, signs and wonders happening. People are wanting to know what it's all about. And as they continue to do what God called them to do and to love on one another, God in turn added, in turn, added to their numbers daily. What a tremendous blessing. With that being said, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you all. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you once again for the opportunity to be here. I thank you for the opportunity to be here. I thank you for all my listeners and viewers out there. Lord, I ask you to bless us, help us to become united through the love of Christ, the same way in the book of Acts that was recorded by Apostle Luke about how the church met daily in homes, met in the temple, broke bread together, got together, worshiped, miracles and signs and wonders were performed. All these things took place. And then you, Lord, added to their numbers. That is amazing. We want to see those days again. Some people call it an old-fashioned revival, but I know it starts with us when it comes to revival. It's like being revived, and the church does need to be revived. So with that being said, Lord, thank you so much. Give us the strength. Give us the wisdom. Give us the opportunities to unite with one another, just as they were recorded in the book of Acts. Open up doors of opportunity. Heavenly Father, raise up men and women who are willing to stand up and say, hey, you know what? Let's connect. Let's get together. Let's break bread together for no reason, except for to be the body of Christ. Let's be a blessing to others. You know, all those good things, Lord. Help us. Raise us up. We thank you so much for your word. We thank you for those men and women that you chose to write your word so that we could learn from it and grow from it. I just bless each and every family represented listening to this podcast today, Lord. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the opportunities you've given us in this world. Blessings on everybody. Thank you in the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for all the blessings and for your love. Amen. There you have it, folks. There's another one all about the love movement, talking about unity, talking about how we can be blessed if we get together and unite together through that love. What amazing things are going to happen. God will bless it. I'm giving you my word through God's word. God will bless it when we love on one another and we unite together as the body of Christ. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. God bless you all. Make sure you subscribe and share it for me. Thank you for all your support. Take care of yourselves. Peace.